honestly just lock in, man. I think the biggest thing nowadays, everybody has social media and stuff, and like sometimes you just gotta put the phone down, sometimes you gotta figure out who you are. And I can see people all the time like, how do you figure out what you wanna do? And like, I got big dreams to be rich and famous or just rich, but I, I just don't know what to do. I got so many things I wanna do. A lot of people don't like remove their self from the crowd or like they you never put down the weed or you never put down the alcohol or you, you gotta really remove yourself from all all this stuff and like maybe put down your phone for once just think and like just sit back and sometimes it might make you cry you might be to go into some deep depression shit but it'll make it'll trigger that 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 thing in your brain to think and to figure out what you really want to do so I, that, that's my biggest advice that's something that i did and that worked for me on the other end of suffering is a life that many people don't know even exists. It's a beautiful world because we, cause like, like the 40% rule, we all live in this world where our brains are keeping us in this box. Outside that box, on the other edge of suffering, which is on the other edge of that 40%, is a world that's endless of opportunity. But we are afraid to go outside that box because in that box it's comfortable. That's where all of our nice stuff, you know, that's where the nice four-lane highway's at. I know where the restrooms are at. I know where the gas stations are at. Outside that box, man, God gives you a shovel. He says, man, start digging. That's not fun. But when you dig, you dig your own path to all kind of stuff that's unknown. The biggest advice I could give you right now, the biggest advice that anybody could give you, and this is not my words. Woody Allen told me this. He said, I said, Woody, what's the secret to success? He said, 85 to 90% of life is just showing up. Show up. If you show up, there's a chance something could happen. What if? A lot of times I'll be in a tours at mile run or something like that, and I'm all jacked up. Body's broken, mind's broken, spirit's broken. I started to say, what if I can pull this off? When I first walked into the Navy SEAL recruiter's office, he looked at me and said, there's only been 35 African-Americans in 70 years make it through. You know what I said to myself? What if I can be the 36th? I don't care what you're going to do, but go out there and make something of yourself. Be an honest person and work and get to the top of whatever it is that you want to get to the top of. You know, and, and, and and stand up for yourself like a respectable human being and be a bit of a light on the world instead of a blight. It gets easier. Huh? Every day it gets a little easier. Yeah? But you gotta do it every day. That's the hard part. But it does get easier. And people not understanding that your biggest enemy is you. You battling yourself. People don't understand is you against you. The only person that gets in your way is you. Nobody else. It's you. There's no reason for you to not think that you're great. If you don't think you're great, ask yourself why. Why don't you think the highest of yourself? When you do, people have no, have no choice but to follow suit. I'm nervous that you're going to miss the shot. All right, so you miss the shot, then what happens? People are going to be embarrassed. You're going to be embarrassed because thousands of people, millions of people see you miss the shot. All right, and then what? People are going to talk bad about you. Okay, right? And so you're looking at it and you go, are those things even important? <laughs> <laughs> I'm seeing people my age, 19, 20, buying Lambos and cars and shit. And I'm sitting here clocking in and out of a job doing the same shit every day. And I get weekends off and then I'm doing the same shit Monday. Something about that just didn't feel right to me. And you start looking around and seeing older people around you, and you're like, how long you been working here? He's like, I've been here 15 years. Nigga pushing 60. I've been here 12 years. He's in his 40s. And it's like, bro, I don't want to be doing this shit that long. I refuse, I refuse to sit there and let it happen. You see people like Aiden and Kai go to the Super Bowl, and they call somebody on the phone, and they're like, oh, Super Bowl tickets is $8,000. Uh, $8, Aiden like, cool. By Adam. Just off the easy. Aiden ain't shit, but one year older than me. Get rich and die trying hit so hard for me, bro. Cause it's like, I'm not finna sit up here and let shit like that happen. Like I'm not finna just let life go by and continue to clock in and clock out when I possibly can be chasing being a fucking millionaire. If you work extremely hard at whatever you got going on, something that you love to do, I swear to God, your life will change. 
It takes one whole year to see crazy improvement. I, I remember a year ago today, I was struggling, bro. I was struggling, but I was still in a really good spot, but I was struggling mentally because I wanted to get to that next step. I was like, I know I'm meant to be something great, and I really manifested everything that I got going on. That my art project song that you guys have listened to that I made, it was in 2019. I knew I was gonna fucking blow up. I just knew I was. Everyone around me, I would tell my friends, I was gonna do it. People would look at me like I'm crazy. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, your parents are, might be the hardest people in your life that you gotta convince. So unfortunately, if you're living under the roof and you're still taking their money and you're still eating their food, you gotta listen to them. You gotta either get a nine to five job on the side, you know, you gotta go to college, you gotta listen to them, or you gotta respect your parents, you have to. However, once you start getting that leverage to where you can be like, yo, mom, dad, look, fuck off for a little bit. Let me grind at what I got going on right now. This is something special and great. Don't ever fucking let somebody let you down. Don't ever let somebody tell you you cannot be something, bro. I'm telling you, bro, you guys are all amazing. People laughed at me, chat, and said, "What? This guy ain't gonna make it. How's your little music thing doing?" Da -da -da -da. Bro, it's crazy. No matter what, chat, don't give up what you're doing. Always, as long as you're putting 100 percent into everything you're doing, yeah, you will always succeed. Just know that. Anything you love, what I do, you can do it. Just go hard. Don't worry about these girls, don't worry about the pies, don't worry about the alcohol, don't worry about smoking, don't worry about all that, bro. Time is temporary. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I mean by that? As in, it's going very fast. Don't waste time. All these parties, all these girls, the girl that you got a crush on, bro, she ain't going nowhere, fam. You know? The party that you really wanted to go to last weekend, but you didn't have enough money for, that ain't going nowhere, bro. So don't stress yourself out about it, fam. Just go hard and come back again. Work hard, celebrate after, for real.